Hi, I'm Lonnie Alameda with YSPN 360. We're going to work a little bit of footwork around the base. Uh, something that I found to be very productive for us um, working around the base is actually fungoing the ball. Um, so a lot of times, you know, you can't rep what a throw is from a catcher to a middle infielder or even first baseman working around the bag or third baseman balls coming from the outfield. So we'd like to just fungo the ball, three hoppers, two hoppers, one hoppers, on the line, whatever it might be, but just trying to fungo the ball here to second base. And we're going to work our athletes from both sides. So we're going to work forehand side right now. I'm going to start them a little bit closer to the base. I'm going to tell them to go. They're going to stay at the base. I'm going to fungo the ball. They get a feel for it, a good fundamental, slowly working them into it. And then I'm going to start moving them farther and they're going to take off and it's going to be good timing. They have to get there at the same time and make the catch. So really working on good athleticism and body control. I want the ball to travel. I want them to go get the ball. I want the ball to travel and then they can make a good tag at the bag. So let's see how this works with our three athletes right here. Very good, good. Let the ball travel behind her, okay? So now we can see we're gonna to start to speed them up a little bit. So now I'm gonna get you guys going a little quicker, okay? Same fundamental, correct? Go. Okay, so now it's timing and body control. Timing and body control. Get to the base, yes, good. Straight to the bag. Timing and body control. Good, and tag, there you go. Go. Good. We can see from this drill as we work them through there, the fungoing the ball can get a little bit harder, get a little more backspin on it. Now I'm really trying to work them and get comfortable working around the bag and making the plays. So even though we missed a few balls, which is huge, they still stayed under control around the bag. Eventually they'll get comfortable and they'll be able to make those tags. So we want to stay at the base so we can make sure we tag right to where the runner's coming to. So that was outstanding. Hopefully that can help you with a tool to get your kids comfortable around the base.